Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to migrate from MailerLite Classic to the new MailerLite. We've made it very easy by creating migration tools so you can migrate over your subscribers, automations, forms, and other details. So let me show you how those work. Starting in MailerLite Classic, you want to grab your API key. So go down to the integrations area and under developer API, click use and copy the API key just here. Then we're going to go over to the single sign-on icon just up here, and this will let you log into the new MailerLite. So you want to click the MailerLite new version right here and create a new account. Enter a name and click save. And to migrate over the new account details, you can start by clicking migrate account and enter the API key that we copied from the MailerLite Classic account. Click confirm and migrate and you will see that the account details have started migrating. So to migrate over the rest of your details, click on Migrate More. And here we can start migrating other details such as subscribers, files, templates, automations, and more. You'll see that some account settings have already been migrated. For example, if you had any verified domains in MailerLite Classic, those should already be migrated to the new MailerLite when you use the first migration tool. Something to note though is that the new MailerLite uses different DNS settings than MailerLite Classic. What that means is that when you switch over your sending domains, you will need to authenticate them again in your hosting provider for your domain. So you'll need to create a new DKIM and SPF records for the sending domains in the new MailerLite. If the records are not accepted right away and you are seeing error messages like this, it simply means that they still need time to propagate, which can take up to 24 hours. If you still see that the DKIM or SPF records have not been accepted after some time, double check that the values are actually correct in your hosting provider. And if you're not sure, you can always reach out to their support team or check the domain authentication tutorial linked in the description below. Okay, let's look at the other migration tools. Starting with subscribers. So you'll notice that here it says you can only migrate 100 subscribers with the current plan and that is because we are starting on the free plan which only allows you to migrate the first 100 subscribers. If you have more than 100 subscribers that you want to migrate, you'll have to upgrade your plan which you can do so right here. Simply click upgrade and choose one of our premium plans. You can adjust the toggle here for the amount of subscribers you have and choose which plan fits your business. It's also important to keep in mind that your plan in MailerLite Classic will not transfer over to the new MailerLite account. So it's important to cancel your plan in MailerLite Classic if you do not want to be charged twice. Now that the account has been upgraded, you can see that that message has gone away and we can go ahead and migrate all of our subscribers. So click proceed and start migration. Okay, we can see that all of our subscribers have been migrated and that does include the active, bounced, and unsubscribed ones as well. And we have the option to resync subscribers. And the reason we have this is because if you continue to collect subscribers in your MailerLite Classic account, you will have to resync them in your new account so that they can be brought over to the new MailerLite. Okay, next we can go ahead and migrate over files by clicking on proceed, start migration. Okay, and you can see all of the files are starting to be imported, and these would be the files that are in the file manager of the MailerLite Classic account. Next is custom templates, and we can click proceed to get started with the migration, start migration. It's important to remember that not all templates can be migrated. If your template was created with an old version of the MailerLite drag and drop editor, it will not be migrated. Also keep in mind that campaigns themselves are not migrated, only those that were saved as templates. And next we can migrate our automations from MailerLite Classic by clicking proceed and start migration. A few things to remember about the automation migration tool is that not all automations can be migrated either. If the workflow has emails that were created using older versions of MailerLite's drag and drop editor similar to campaigns, those individual automation emails will not be migrated. And it's also important to remember that custom templates migration needs to be done before the automations migration can be done. Also, it's important to know that automation history and automation activity will not be migrated along with the workflows. Also, if you have old autoresponders from an older version of MailerLite, those will also not be migrated. 
these should first be updated in MailerLite Classic and then they can be migrated to the new MailerLite. It's also important to know that new subscribers for these automations will start in the new account from the beginning, but subscribers who are active in the MailerLite Classic version of the automation won't actually be taken to the same step in the new workflow once it's been migrated. Those subscribers will need to complete the workflow in MailerLite Classic. Next, we can migrate our forms by clicking Proceed and Start Migration. A few things to know about the forms migration is that not all forms can be migrated. If they were created with older versions of MailerLite's drag and drop editor, those forms will not be migrated to the new version of MailerLite. If you are using any URLs in the visibility settings of your form, only a maximum of 30 URLs will be transferred over to the new MailerLite. Keep in mind that promotional forms in the new MailerLite are an advanced feature, so they will only be migrated if the account is on the advanced plan. Next, we can migrate over our landing pages and websites from MailerLite Classic. Click Proceed and Start Migration. So there's a note here about the DNS settings, and that is because in the new MailerLite, like we said before, the DNS settings are different. So when you migrate over your landing pages and websites, if you had custom domains for those sites, you will need to redo the DNS settings when they transfer over to the new MailerLite and make sure that you have the updated DNS settings. And again, that is done in your hosting provider for your domain. Something else to keep in mind when it comes to migration and the users in your account is that on the free plan in the new MailerLite, only one user is allowed. So that means if you have multiple users in MailerLite Classic, you will need to have a premium plan on the new MailerLite in order to have more than one user in the account. If you have any issues with migration tools, you can access our chat icon just here, and we are here to answer any questions and help you with migration. For more information on migration or how to use other MailerLite features, check out our knowledge base articles, our video tutorials, and our helpful MailerLite Academy, which is packed full of free information to get you up to speed on all things MailerLite. Happy migrating!